Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 99 of Lightroom Quick Tips. Recently I was having a discussion with someone and we were talking about the spot removal tool in Lightroom and they were wondering what exactly is the difference between the clone tool and the heel tool or the clone brush and the heel brush. And in this video I'm going to try to show you the differences and why you might want to use one over the other. Now I have this image here and if we look closely at her arm. You can see she's got a couple scratches on her arm. So I want to remove the smaller scratch and I'm going to use the spot removal tool and right now I have the heel brush selected so that's fine. We're going to put feathering somewhere in the middle and we're just going to make the brush big enough to cover this smaller scratch and I'm going to click once and as you know Lightroom will pick somewhere near that spot that it thinks matches pixel wise to blend in and replace whatever you're trying to replace in this case the scratch now for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to take the overlay and I'm gonna drag it as you know you could drag it wherever you want and I'm gonna drag it down here on her shirt and if you look at the effect now if you look very closely you'll see that it copied the color and texture from her shirt and it's trying to blend it with the color and texture of her skin and to make that a little more obvious, I'll take feathering all the way down to zero. So you can see it's trying to blend the two together. If I switch to the clone tool, you'll notice that it is exactly the pixels now that are underneath this part of the tool overlay. They were just copied and put up here. So it's the clone is actually doing exactly what it's implying. It's cloning what is here and putting it there. So you could probably deduce from this that it would be best for skin in certain situ most situations I should say the heel tool would work better generally speaking you don't want to just copy the pixels to the spot you'd like to blend it somehow so it looks more natural now what I suggest you do is if you do replace a spot or a scratch or a, you know a, a blemish or anything like that and it just doesn't look right and you can't seem to get it to work keep that overlay selected and then just switch your brush from heel to clone or the other way whichever way you're working with and you can see in this case clone doesn't look as as good as heel so in most cases I believe for skin uh, heel is the way to go also probably if you're just doing you know some minor cleanup of let's say a beach like I did in that um, video yesterday or if you're doing something you know a landscape image and you're just taking sensor spots out of the sky generally speaking I think heel would work best in most situations well when does clone come into play well on an image like this I'm gonna open up this spot removal tool and I'm gonna pick the clone tool and I'll keep feathering at zero so it's obvious what I'm doing and what we want to do is get a very 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 large brush and I'm actually going to clone the lifeguard stand and to do that I'm going to get a brush that's just bigger than what I want to clone and I'm actually going to click over here first because I want to copy this over here so I'm going to click once there then move it over here and make sure it lines up best I can bear with me it's okay I guess for the sake of this discussion it's off just a little bit and the perfectionist in me always wants it straight but we'll say that that's good but you can see now I have feathering too low I have to feather it better try to get it blended in a little better and there you know there so that is an application for the clone brush in the spot healing brush you actually could clone something from one part of the image to another part of the image so it has its application uh, it's gonna I think be not as common as when you use heel so my advice to you is to usually use heel for most situations and if heel just doesn't seem to be cutting it then try clone and see if you're getting a better uh, result with clone so I hope that made sense uh, where you could use one over the other I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon